Hey guys, Nick here, and I am leaving Barnes & Noble. I came in here, I am working on a lot of stuff, which is exciting, exciting, exciting. So I wanted to come on here, um, cause it's just all this messaging. So guys, here's the thing, when you're going through stuff in your life, it's not for you. You know, a lot of times we face things and challenges in our lives and we feel like a victim. We feel like, why is this happening to me? You know, why is this struggle so hard? How come I can't break through? Why am I going through this again? We go through all these different questions when we go through challenges in our life. But here's the, tr here's the truth behind challenges. The challenges that you go through are not for you. They're for you to go through to help others that are gonna go through the same thing. And so it's so funny, the last three to four years, y'all, I was going through. I mean, going through where I didn't recognize myself going through. I thought I lost myself. I thought I lost my mind. I thought I lost my vision. I thought I lost the possibility of the future that I once had so much inspiration to build. It was just so many things that I was going through. And I could not understand what happened. I was like, God, why, do, why am I being punished? And it's so funny because there's always a testimony to the test, right? Now that I'm on the other side or have ventured to the other side, God is opening up so much um, about that journey to me and revealing so many things to me. And so I finally got the inspiration to get going again. And I've been saying this, but I realized the power of activating, right? So. God gives us visions. He's going to inspire us and show us things. And the truth is, is that a lot of times we don't feel ready. We feel like, ah, I'm not ready for this. I still got stuff I got to do. I need to wait. I need to do this. We'll go back and forth. And the truth is, is you'll never feel ready. But when God gives it to you, he doesn't give it to you because you're ready. He gives it to you because he's going to position you to utilize that journey as an impact for someone else. So it's not about feeling ready. We don't always feel ready, but he knows that we are positioned where our story is seasoned enough that it's gonna have a great level of impact. And it's about the journey that you walk through, not the destination that you get to, that is gonna have the greatest impact. So I'm on the other side of this, finally launching this book. We launched our, our mastermind group, our, um, our accelerator program. We're launching a workshop. We're launching a live event. All these things I've been wanting to do for years, I'm finally launching. And what's crazy is that when I give people a sneak peek, they're like, yo, can I buy it now? Right? And what I learned about all of this is that you'll never feel ready. You'll probably never feel good enough. You'll probably never feel like you have, you know, all the things together yet. But the world doesn't want perfection. They simply want solutions. They want guidance. They want insight. People do not want to come to you because you are perfect. People want to come to you because they've seen you go through something that they're going through and they want to know, how did you do it? How did you get on the other side? What did it take for you to get to this place? What things did you have to do? What things did you need to know? Where did you start? What are the steps? What is it that I need to do differently so that I can be experiencing the same thing? And guys, it can be in any category. It can be in cooking. It can be in parenting. It can be in education. It can be in business. You fill in the blanks. But there are things that God has told you to take action on. But because you don't feel ready and you don't feel qualified, you're sitting on them. But my pastor always used to say, and it is one of the best statements that he, he has ingrained in my brain. And that statement is, God doesn't call the qualified, he qualifies your call. You will never feel qualified. You will probably never feel ready because a lot of these things are not designed for you to all to know the whole solution. You are not probably gonna know the how. So you're gonna be doing it afraid. You're gonna be perfectly imperfect. It's probably gonna be very messy in the process of you putting it out there. But the mission, you guys, is not about you. It's about what's in you that the world needs access to that you gotta get out. So it is not gonna be perfectly packaged in a little box that has been prepared and positioned in a way that you feel is perfect, right? A lot of stuff is imperfect. I am in the middle of building all these things. I am in the middle of hiring people. I am in the middle of spending 
things, putting money in investments that scare the holy crap out of me, right? But it's because I know that what I got to do is so much bigger than me that I got to invest in where I'm going. And so a lot of those things are very uncomfortable. They're very overwhelming. And many of them scare, so they scare the daylights out of me. Like I'd be like, whoa, God, is this it, right? Like the conversations that I'm having now, you know, it's like, ooh, am I ready for this? But the truth is, is it's not on me to have to figure it all out. It's on me to be obedient and let God make provision for that vision to position me so that those resources that I need are made accessible so that I can do the work that I'm called to do. And so for many of you guys, you're out there and you're like, man, I got to get this together. I got to get that together. I need to do this. I need to do that. You're giving yourself a million and one ways that you got to of things that you got to do before you get started. And the truth is, is there's people right now out there looking for you, but they don't know that you exist. Okay. They don't know that you exist. So here's the thing, you guys, and I want to help y'all out. One of the things that I am very, very good at is helping people to get clarity, helping people to get confidence and helping people to activate and take action. I am doing a workshop this Saturday. It is called reinvent myself workshop. I put this together because several people apply for my program that I had to deny. They were not ready to work with me at the level that I'm working at in my paid like an expert program. A lot of them didn't know what they wanted to do. A lot of them was not, they were not confident. A lot of them were, you know, totally insecure about a lot of things. They were, you could tell they were wavering. Many of them still dealing with mindset beliefs around being valuable, being worthy, being able to charge for what they know and I could not accept them into my program. So I said, I'm going to begin to provide resources for people who are in that preliminary stages of what it is that I do when I work with my coaching clients and I help people to begin to get out there. And so this workshop, if you are at a place in your life where you're feeling intimidated about stepping into your power, you know you have something in you, you know you're called to do great and mighty things, you know that there is greatness inside of you, but you've let imposter syndrome, analysis paralysis, comparing yourself to other people, second guessing every internal decision that God, the spirit is speaking to you to tell you to activate on and feeling like you gotta keep doing more, getting more, going more, having more, making more before you get started, lose more weight, get married first. So the kids gotta leave. Or I'm gonna wait until I finish, you know, when I leave this job, I'm listen, you don't know if tomorrow is promised. And what we do know is the greatest amount of potential is in the grave. What it is that you're called to do, God will give you everything you need to make it happen. But many of you guys need to actually do what I call unlearn and align. You need to unlearn a lot of things that have been, you've been receiving information you've been getting from other people that truly is not connected to your identity and who you are. A lot of it is fabricated does not apply to you but you've allowed it to become your truth and you've allowed that that messaging to hold you hostage from your calling and from your assignment and many of you guys have lost touch with your own internal spiritual guide your own the, the spiritual voice within that intuition that discernment that is telling you already what to do and you need to learn how to shed those layers of, of other people's opinions off your life so you can activate what's inside of you. And so these are some of the things that we're gonna talk about on Saturday, getting back in alignment, because I'm gonna tell you guys something. You know, I talk to a lot of people all the time. And it's so funny because I've been in this game of coaching and business and entrepreneurship for years, and I've been on all sides of this industry. I've been on the side of the people who are the students that are watching every single thing that people are doing. And then I've been behind the scenes, on the stages, with the people that many of you admire. I've been working behind the scenes with a lot of the people that you know and you, that, that you admire. I'm a part of their crew behind the scenes, helping them to launch some of the things that they're launching. And the truth of the matter is, is there's a lot of people living in a false identity. See, people, some people manufacture their lives. And what that means is, they figure out what they think they need to do to create an image and they go ahead and they manufacture an image. 
But what happens when you work on your false identity is that you start living in a place and space of imposter syndrome because you're impersonating something that is not authentically connected to you. And what happens is over time, you begin to deteriorate from the inside out. You start dealing with a lot of mindset issues. You start dealing with burnout. You start dealing with not wanting to do the things that you're committed to doing because it's not in alignment with who you really are. And the next thing you know, you find yourself ready to burn the house down because you built the house around something that's not real and authentic to you. And some of you guys are trying to create your own false identity. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you've been living in that place and stage of trying to fabricate who you are, trying to fake it until you make it, that is why you have not launched, you have not activated, you have not grown, you have not accelerated, you have not been positioned to prosper. You're not living in a space of abundance. You're not living in a, in a space of, 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 of inspiration and enthusiasm and excitement, but instead you're probably living with dread, imposter syndrome, fears, anxiety, and all these other things because you're chasing false identities. Y'all got to strip that stuff off of you. Stop following all these people telling you all this stuff that makes you feel less than. Who you are and who you were created to be is exactly what it is that you need to activate. You don't need to add anything else to it. You just need to exercise and live in it. And that's what we're going to talk about on Saturday. So here's the thing, y'all. We have a few seats left. This is going to be an intimate, personal process. You can DM me. I will give you the information. Yes, there is an investment, y'all. I don't do stuff for free anymore. Why? Because it's enough free information out here. I don't want to work with people that are freebie seekers. I want to work with people who are committed to change and transformation. And so if you want to know more about it, inbox me, DM me. I will give you the information, but this will not be another fluff. Let me tell you a lot of hype. Let me impress you with some stuff. Let me get you to believe that I am all that and that you should want to do all these things. It ain't even about me. It's going to be about you. And the whole concept of it is unlearn, align, and design. Unlearn all these things that no longer benefit you align with who you know God has called and created you to be and design the life that you truly want to live. And so I am excited about this thing on Saturday. This is going to be a phenomenal groundbreaking breakthrough transformational workshop. And those who are on it, they'll begin to see some instant shifts because my whole mission this year is to help people activate activate that thing inside of you that God has called you to do and stop worrying about the how, but instead take action on the what. If you want more information about that, hit me in my DMs and I'll see you on Saturday. First thing, ready to rock because you are going to operate in the fullness of who God has called you to be, no matter what it is that you've been dealing with up until this point. All right, y'all. So that is it. Headed back to the hotel out here in San Antonio with the family. And even though I was at Six Flags in 90 degree heat, 93 degree weather today, I had stuff to do. So I came up here to Barnes and Noble. I'm making it happen and getting it done. And I'm gonna tell y'all something, when you operating in your gift, there's no excuses. I got up at three o'clock this morning. I went and sat outside of a Starbucks in my minivan and worked on my book, okay? Until it was time to go pick up my kids and take them to Six Flags. When you are operating in your gift, when you are moving according to who God has called you to be, you don't live in excuses, you live in activation. And that's my day today. Been up since three o'clock this morning, and now I'm headed to the hotel, and now I ain't going to bed. I got more work to do. So I'm about to head back up there and finish working on some things. And y'all, I look forward to seeing you on Saturday. So DM me, time for reinventing yourself and transformation. And actually, it's not reinventing, it's actually just discovering, rediscovering who you already have been that you have not been honoring. So I'll see you guys on Saturday, DM me, and I'll get you the information. All right, y'all, bye.